My name is Andrea Ricco, and I'm a professor at USC Keck School of Medicine. The pollution problems in Boyle Heights are, are pretty unique because Boyle Heights is a community of 80,000 people that's surrounded by five freeways with almost 20,000 trucks a day, many of them coming from the ports, some of them coming from Vernon, passing through on these various freeways through Boyle Heights. And because of all the freeways, it means that people in Boyle Heights are exposed to a lot of truck traffic and automobile traffic, both on the freeways that surround the community, but also on the streets that go through the community. And the pollution in Boyle Heights is higher than in other communities. For example, it's like twice as high as it is in West LA. So that was an indication to some of the government agencies and community groups that there really needs to be some attention focused on Boyle Heights. Well, there are two groups of um, people who are more affected by air pollution, young children and the elderly. So we find that when children grow up with a lot of air pollution, they are more likely to develop asthma or have reduced lung function. Their lungs don't work as well, so they don't get as much air in and can't breathe as much air out, which could result in long-term um, health problems. My name's Yesenia Romo and I'm 22 years old. Well, because of the air pollution, my son did develop um, um, asthma and um, it's, it's pretty bad to the point where he's limited playing outside, you know, and because we do live in a very polluted um, zip code, this is one of one, one of the most polluted zip codes, it affects him even more so because of the, the lack of green spaces that we have here in the community. And I try to accommodate him as best possible with his environment, try to provide him with um, air filters or air flows, try to have like a clean house in the sense of, you know, try to move, remove as much, much dust as I can. Sometimes people feel a little bit helpless, like what, what can I do to help this problem? I mean, I think that in Boyle Heights there, you are really lucky that there's the light rail. So people can take the light rail, which cuts down on the number of cars. People can bicycle or walk more. So those are um, you know, tools. Basically get out of your car more. Um, if, you can, if you can walk or bicycle or take the light rail, it's really going to help to reduce the pollution.